Hello AI fans, we've got even more new stuff this week thanks to these amazing WAN video lauras from Remade AI. They've provided files for squish, rotate, inflate and even more. Don't they look awesome? They work great in Comfy UI and if you don't yet have the WAN models downloaded then check out the Comfy UI examples page for step-by-step -step instructions on where to save each file on your computer. You can also grab their example image to video workflow and it's that one I'm going to be supercharging today with all this WAN LoRa goodness as well as adding a simple speed up trick. Here's the comfy example then and one benefit of this is you don't need any custom nodes. As you can see everything has a little fox icon meaning they are native nodes. If you are getting errors at this stage, chances are you're using an old version of Comfy UI, so be sure to use something which is up to date instead, unless you like getting errors all the time. The default model for load diffusion model is the WAN image to video 480p FP16 file. You can use that one, but in my case, I'm going with the FP8 version because it's a smaller file to download. Here you can see all the various file sizes, the FP8 version of the image to video model still being a rather hefty 16 gig, despite being half the size of that even more chunky FP16 file. The choice is yours of course. As you should be able to tell from the model file sizes there, the 14B models do work best if you've got a decent amount of VRAM such as 16 gig or more, but there are smaller options too. I'm sure you've watched my previous WAN video anyway, so I won't repeat myself here again. This setup works great on a 3090 with 24 gig of VRAM and all the timings I give here will be based on that. I've also started comfy with Sage Attention. If you've got a more modern card such as a 4000 or a 5000 series then I guess you can probably get better performance. Now in order to load these WAN LoRa's you're going to need to do a couple of things first. For each LoRa that you want to use, you're going to need to download its model file. There are eight of them in the collection at the moment, you can see them all there, and well, just download all the ones you fancy. Taking a deeper look into the information they've provided, this example is for the Squish LoRa, but they're all much the same. You can see they've got an overview, features, community information, some example videos, download links, using it with diffusers, some recommended settings, trigger words, very important there, and a prompt template. That's handy because you can just copy and paste that into your positive prompt. Like you can see at the bottom there, these LoRa's do also work with Kijai's custom nodes for WAN as well, so that's another option for you. Over on the Files and Versions tab, you can see the Squish file you want to download there, squish underscore 18 dot safe tensors, so download that into your models LoRa's directory. As you can see for these, the file size is nice and small, only 359 meg. Back in the workflow then and to load any of those LoRa files you just downloaded, you'll first need to add a node to do that. If you've seen my workflow basics video or you've been using Comfy UI for a while, this won't be new to you, but check this out if not. All right, so we're gonna go over here and then I'm going to double click and in this search box, I can type the word LoRa. And what I want to pick is LoRa loader model only. You now need to connect that node into your workflow there we've got a model output so that goes into the input there and we can take the output from that one so we've essentially just added this into the chain you could if you wanted to put it after the model sampling node there as long as it goes in somewhere before it reaches the k sampler now you've got your laura loader just select one of those files you downloaded like here i've got the squish laura you can also be pretty rough with the prompt. Here I've literally copied and pasted the template without replacing the word object with cat like you're kind of meant to. And if we have a look at the result, there we go. It's, it's still absolutely fine. Now using all the default settings and the workflow, 20 steps like that took just over three minutes. That's around 9.2 seconds per iteration. Increasing the number of frames and resolution will increase the time it needs. This Mona Lisa example has 49 frames and it's at 480 by 832. This time the very same 20 steps took almost 8 minutes and 22.9 seconds per iteration. If only there was a way to make this run a bit faster. Oh, oh there is. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Click the Manager button to open up the Comfy UI Manager and then go to the Custom Nodes Manager. 
Here, you can search for extra samplers. As you can see, I've got it installed already, but if you don't have then install and restart, then you'll have these extra samplers. With that custom node pack installed, we're ready to replace this case sampler here with an entirely different one. The one you're looking for this time is Sampler Custom Noise Duo, so go ahead and add that. It's going to replace the existing case sampler, so move all of the connections from that one over to the new node. Once they've all been moved, you can just get rid of the old one. You'll see it still needs a couple of samplers and some sigmas, but we can just drag a noodle out from there. We'll have a case sampler select, and the same for the second one. And for the sigmas, we'll add a split sigmas. That's got two outputs, so we just connect the low sigmas to sigmas two. These split sigmas expect an input, so let's give it one there. We've got a basic scheduler. The basic scheduler also expects an input, so we can take that from the model sampling. There we have a new workflow. For even more of a speed boost, although only a tiny one in this case, you can add the custom nodes here, Comfy UI KJ nodes, and that will give you TCache, which works with native Comfy UI. This time then you can add the WAN video TCache native, pop that in exactly like with the LoRa's again, it can go anywhere, but I'll just put it in here at the beginning because that's where the node is, there you go. So now you've added a TCache node as well. After testing loads of things, I found that essentially you can get away with fewer than 20 steps using the full double conditioning, which is why we've added this sampler noise duo. You can do it with native nodes as well, just by using multiple samplers, but this duo sampler makes things easy and it looks less complicated. Apparently some people aren't keen on noodles. Like uh, me, for example, I also like colors as well. So in this lower noodle version, I've also used my usual color scheme and moved everything around so it's a bit neater and easier to follow. If you like neat workflows too, then consider supporting me on Patreon as it's you supporters that keep the channel going. A massive thanks to every one of you. Now, to get a decent speed out of this setup, the main thing to do is start off with changing a few settings. For the scheduler, beta works quite well, but we don't need the full 20 steps, so start off with something like 18 in total. The value you put in split sigmas is the one that you're going to run the double conditioning steps for, and then the rest of the steps will be run without the negative conditioning, so basically twice as fast. 12 is a good starting point here, and it should be higher than zero, but obviously less than the number of steps in total. Use your favorite samplers. Uh, they can both be the same or different. Res multi-step and gradient estimation, for example, are both decent options to start with. In the sampler, make sure you've got add noise true, add noise pass two false, and return noisy pass one to true as well. There are different noise types there, but generally speaking, just leave that on the default to start with. Now, the trick here, of course, is to set CFG2 down to one. That way that CFG6 only runs for that 12 steps and the remaining steps run at double speed with CFG1. Now if you run it, the first 12 steps will run at the same speed as normal, with the final six steps going twice as fast. This time the run only takes around five and a half minutes compared to the almost eight minutes from before. That result was without TCache, but you can add TCache in and speed things up just a little bit. You can also lower the number of steps as well and still get some fairly decent results. So this time I'm doing just eight steps with 12 steps in total. I've got my little robot down there and up here I am using the Rotate LoRa. I've also gone all the way up to a length of 81 in order to generate a full five seconds of video. This time it's just six minutes for the video to generate, despite going from 49 to 81 length. Quality is still reasonable, though fewer steps than this does look notably worse, so that's probably about as low as you want to go. If you want even longer videos, one really basic way is just to copy and paste everything apart from the model loading setup and then feed the last frame from the first video as the input for the next one. Also in the KJ nodes pack is get images from batch index, which I'm using there with an appropriate number. Indexing starts at zero, so 80 is the last frame of an 81 length video. 
You can see here, I've got the output from that first generated video, so the, the cat cake, and that's the last frame there, which I'm just using as the input for the next one, which also happens to use a different LoRa. So this time I'm doing the squish, and of course I've got a different prompt to go along with that. Same thing again at the end. So once again, get the final frame from that, feed that as the first one into the next one, which this time is a crush. And then with a couple of batch images nodes, you can put everything together. So you get this final video. So it starts off with the cat cake that then has the little fingers come in to squish it. Finally, then after we've squished the cat, it gets dropped down and crushed. Excellent. Just what should happen. With so many different Lauras, which one are you going to try first? Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way. 